Here's a quick run through on how to have your audio units and VST presets uh, shown inside the browser of your push. I'm going to show you the basic hierarchy of your presets within the main instrument categories. Obviously we're focusing on instruments for this tutorial and um, what we want to do is go to the instrument racks folder and notice that there are subfolders for your presets and they're all categorized as such. What we're going to do is go to our user library and find the presets folder that is created by your Live 9 installation and actually go to your instruments folder and create your own instrument rack folder and create basically the same folders that are found in the instrument rack in the main instrument rack. You're going to create the same exact folders by simply right clicking and choosing new folder. Use the same exact names and what you're going to do then is actually create instrument racks. You're going to assign your macros like you normally do and then you're going to drop those inside the individual folders. Uh, by doing that, and I'm going to undo that just so I can show you how it works within Push, by doing that you've made it possible for you to be able to browse inside the instrument racks. We're going to go to the base category which is the one that I was browsing through and we're going to look for a preset I created using Silenth and that is called Giorgio Moroder. I'm going to try to find that within our base presets. These are all mostly live because I did create a few. And there it is. So I'm going to open that. And there it is. Once again, don't forget to add your macros because then you can go to the, to the device window and you can actually have complete, well, limited, but complete control of the macros that are available to you. There you go. Happy pushing.